and Mike is here with me from the Herpetologicals. Did I say it right? Herpetological. That was that, very good. Thank yeah. you. Sanctuary right here. And I'll tell you, what's really cool about this place is that I know it for the alligators. I love it out there because I'm a big alligator fan. And you guys do rescue, you do um, rehabbing, all kinds of different animals out there. But we're going to talk about the snakes here. And who do you have with us this morning? This is Oasis. She is a red-tailed boa, but as you can tell, she's also an albino red-tailed boa. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to slide this a little bit because they want to make sure we're on camera. I'm going to slide you over just oh, yeah. a little bit. I'll stay a little away from you. There we go. Now we're a little bit closer where we can, we can get a little closer look there. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not a big snake guy. Um, and, and the thing is that snakes are great for our environment, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. No, it's estimated that a snake can remove as much as, you know, 30 to 40 rodents from, you know, the area in a year. So, you know, they're actually doing a lot as, uh, as far as reducing ticks, lice, and, you know, unwanted pests. So, actually, they are really great as far as pest control here yeah. in Arizona. Okay, we know we have a big problem with the rattlesnakes that come through into people's homes, especially out in the desert and stuff. And I've been told that's not the rattlesnake's fault, it's us building their areas, right? Absolutely. I would say that uh, development in the valley has definitely uh, put a strain on a lot of different rattlesnake uh, populations. You know, we're in their area, so it only makes sense when every once in a while they show up on our porch or maybe take a nap in our garage looking for a mouse. That's all. Okay, let's talk about the bow because everybody thinks the bow constrictor is like a python, which are two different type of snakes, That's right? That's right, yes. Uh, these guys are boas. so. Pythons, for the most part, are found Old World, and boas, for the most part, are found New World. However, there are some exceptions. These guys are found in Central and South America. So uh, if you've ever heard the name boa constrictor, that's actually their scientific name, boa constrictor. Yeah. And so they, and they restrict, and so that's how they get They're their food? They're constrictors, yeah. They'll, they'll suffocate their prey. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. nice. And you got it wrapped around you here. That's really nice. Oh, well, she's a sweetheart. She's met yeah. a lot of kids. She's very much so one of our favorite outreach animals. She visits kids on birthday parties and guests that come to the sanctuary. She's very sweet if you wanted to try petting her, Brad. <laughs> Mike, right. that is great. Maybe next I might, time. I might, I might not be able to see as we continue yeah. to talk. Okay, let's talk about the snakes you have out there because you were saying that you have over probably 200 different species yes. of snakes. And how these snakes come to you guys? So these snakes and all of our other reptiles come to us through a variety of ways. We are involved in high profile breeding pro uh, projects. We have surrendered pets that are brought to our facility all the time, daily. Uh, and then in some instances, we even have law enforcement seizures. And for us, we're really the only facility on the West Coast that is doing what we're doing. So we receive crocodilians that have been brought in from as far away as Wyoming yeah. wow. or Idaho, you know? Amazing. All right, so now what's the most deadliest snake you've ever had there? Oh, man. Well, we definitely have some of the most venomous in the world. I would say uh, the one that I would consider one of the most venomous would be our inland taipan. Wow. Yeah. Okay, what about a mobai or anything like that? Uh, the mambas? Yeah, we have the black mambas, mambas black green mambas. Yeah. mambas. Black yeah. mambas. So, yeah. I love that. Cobras, so. all kinds of stuff. So, okay, what about coexisting with uh, snakes? I mean, how's that? What's the strategy of coexisting with snakes? So, what I would really recommend to any homeowners in the area that have been getting a bunch of snakes in their yard or maybe people who want to be preemptive as far as making sure snakes don't show up in their yard, I would absolutely recommend our Venom Manager's snake training course. So you can go to our website and figure out more about that. But we have a course that is very comprehensive as far as teaching people in this area how to relocate a rattlesnake that gets into their yard. And I would say that's one of the best ways to handle them in a non-lethal manner. Got it. Okay, so a friend of mine, um, she would do a stage show with a snake. It was like a big, like this one. Yeah. Like it was awesome. She would do it and everything. She'd dance around and stuff. Nice. So yeah, so Brittany's her name. But anyways, uh, that whole other story there. Um, but again... Uh, I can dance if you want, dance, Brad. No, that's no? okay. Okay. You know, I, I mean, uh, sometimes I'm a snake charmer. Ah, ah yeah. Thank animal you very magnetism. Much. There it is yeah, right there. there you go. This is awesome. Mike. Okay, can people come visit the sanctuary? Absolutely. We only ask that you schedule an appointment before you come. Just go to our website and it's quite easy. Yeah. I like it. Okay, I'm going to touch Please. What's your yeah. name? Oasis. Here. Okay. Just well, like this. I'm not going. Where? I'm, I'm going to go back here. Is that okay? Back here. Yeah. Well, no, don't take, don't take her off. What are you doing? We got Mike. It. No. I'm sorry. Okay. You could have left her on you, and that was fine. Heads this way. All right. Let's try Mike. it out. All right. Very close. There we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. There we go. My, don't, let, don't let my scariness people worry about the snakes. They're safe and everything She's here. She's sweet. I'm just, I, I just. I don't know. So you know why? Because I had a snake have my girlfriend eat an apple and it just turned into a oh whole crazy gosh. thing. Yeah.